Hey guys, it's Glockster42. Well, welcome to another um, model uh, review on the Alberta Scale Model Channel. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Dragon's very nice late production Jagdpanzer 4L70 Mark V. It's an August 1944 production. It has molded Zimmerman. Um, this is one of Dragon's. It's not listed as a smart kit, but um, it's a very nice kit. There's the box front of the box art right there. Side there. It's uh, 6589, as you can see, is the unit number. A little bit more there. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that it had such nice art at the back and I got a little tear at the back, but it gives a very nice breakdown of the detail of this kit. It looks a good looking kit. It has the Fantastic Dragon um, Magic Tracks. They're all cut and ready to go. So let's uh, take a look, see what uh, how this looks inside. All right, when you open it up, the first thing you see is very standard Dragon. You have the Magic Tracks, which are the single link on link tracks, already cut off the sprues, ready to go. Um, clear periscopes and some photo etch and the decals. Honestly, these clear periscopes, I wish they'd just go back to molding them out of normal plastic. Most of the time they get painted out uh, dark blue with a little bit of clear over top. Really the silver to me is just a, the clear the clear plastic is just is literally a waste of time. I hate them. I just as soon have normal plastic. All right, the next sprue we see here consists of the chassis. As you can see up close, the Zimmerman is fantastic. It's extremely realistic. It's very much in scale. And by golly, you'd have a hard time getting Zimmerman that good by doing putty or paste. I'm really impressed with the Zimmerman. Now here we have uh, Dragon's instruction sheet. There's quite a few of the blue areas of the pieces that aren't used. So once again, Dragon's including a whole bunch of extra parts. Typical Dragon breakdown. We start with the chassis. And we open up to the uh, more chassis, running gear, upper hull, and all that kind of good stuff. You know, for the experienced model builder, we know that we're probably going to join the uh, the hull much earlier on in assembly. They've got the hull being put together in step 18. Honestly, you're probably going to be putting that hull together before you've got the uh, the tracks on and all the rest of that stuff. At least that's usually the way I build, and then build up around your your centered hull. So paint decals, um, we've got uh, Tank in Warsaw 1944, one in Hungary in 45, Budapest 45, and then an unidentified unit in the 45. So they've got some nice painting options. I haven't decided where this particular model is going to go, but uh, we'll figure that as we build it. Now as you can see, it's using a single piece um, injected molded barrel, which looks pretty darn good. There's a bit of a mold line to clean up on that, but uh, you know what, you're not going to, I don't think you'll have to probably spend any money on an aftermarket barrel unless you really want to. So there's a sprue there. Uh, once again, Dragon gives you lots and lots of parts. Another sprue here for all the uh, upper running gear. Uh, the complete set of um, looks like the uh, side shields without Zimmerman there. Fenders. All the running gear here. Pretty standard for uh, Mark IV running gear, and of course the chassis here, which is done up in Zimmerman, which looks really nice, some more of the detailed parts here. So as you can see, Dragon's uh, outdone themselves for what you get in a, for a kit that's under $60. This is a first-rate kit. I think it was $56.95, the same cost as that Panhard. The Dragon prices have gotten, I think, extremely competitive in the last little bit. The prices have come down. Um, I still think they're making them, some of their kits are getting to be unnecessarily fiddly. There's a lot more parts than maybe you need to, you need, and a lot of things they're doing just to make themselves, hey, look at what we're doing. I, I like the old-fashioned, simple models. I grew up in the old Tamiya's. My very first uh, Tamiya tank was a Leopard um, Mark I way back in the late 70s. I remember it was 1999. What a great kit that was. I just loved it. So anyway... There's a box review of the uh, Jagdpanzer 4L from Zim from uh, Dragon with Zimmerman. Excellent kit. It looks like it's a very high value uh, kit. Um, you know, Dragon generally you don't have much problem fit and finish. They usually go together really well. And uh, 
generally you know with dragon you know what you're going to get you're going to get a high quality accurate detailed kit with lots of little fiddly bits but this one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to build so stay tuned and we'll build this one on camera here shortly thanks for watching guys later